don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. Today is the day of the AFCON 2019 draw. I'm going to bring in you the various seeded teams. Yes, Ghana unfortunately was not seeded. I'll let you know where Ghana was placed in the various spots where Ghana was placed. And I'm also going to tell you about the delegation going to for the AFCON draw for Ghana. We'll also talk about Asamoa Jan, a veteran player says Asamoa Jan needs to go to AFCON 20. 19 by hook or crook he has to be there we we'll also hear from coach Kwesia Pia ahead of the Afcon draw he is part of the delegation that is headed to Cairo that's in currently in Cairo for the Afcon 2019 draw and he'll speak the blacks he'll speak on the black stars campaign plans and other stuff and also we'll take you through the various teams that are in the various spots and the possible permutations and the possible groupings Ghana could have you if you are new to the channel or advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates so i'll just jump right into it finally the day of the draw is here yes the afcon 2019 draw we've been looking forward to this day we've been counting down to this day it's finally here the draw for the afcon 2019 is here with us we're going to know the various teams that will be playing each other in the group stages so the teams were seeded, yes, the defending champions we all know will always be in pot one, that's according to CAF and also the host nation. So CAF used the combination, used they actually used only the April FIFA rankings, yes, Ghana is sixth list in Africa, they used the April FIFA rankings that made Ghana get into pot two. So we'll have a look at how the various sports, how, how CAF announced the various um, ports for for the draw and i'll come back and we'll look through them and see which teams and which teams are in which ports let's go have a look at how CAF announced the various ports for the afcon 2019 So that was the video showing how CAF announced the various spots for the AFCON 2019 draw and it's quite interesting there. Many of us thought Ghana would be placed in Port 1 but as you can see here on your screen, Port 1 includes Egypt, the host Cameroon defending champion Senegal, the highest placed or highest ranked team in Africa followed by Tunisia, Nigeria, Morocco, DR Congo are fifth in Africa on the latest FIFA rankings and Ghana has said so they fall into port 2 so DR Congo, Ghana, Mali, Cote d'Ivoire, Guinea and Algeria make up port 2. Now for, for port 3 we have South Africa, Uganda, Benin, Mauritania, Madagascar and Kenya. Now for port 4 we have Zimbabwe, Namibia, Guinea-Bissau, Algeria, Tanzania and Burundi. These are, this port contains many of the newbies. Most people were not expecting Ghana to be in port 2 but I think using the April FIFA rankings Ghana eventually fell in that group. So the story says that the Black Stars have not been seeded for the upcoming 2019 African Cup of Nations draw. Now the Confederation of African Football have confirmed Ghana finished first in group E of the qualifiers and earlier reports suggested that the team will be seeded in port one of the tournament however a video released by the continent's football body has confirmed that ghana is not among the seeded countries now ghana was four time who are four time winners of the tournament having placed in port two alongside dr congo mali cote d'ivoire guinea and algeria now the seeded countries are egypt nigeria tunisia cameroon senegal and morocco now the seeding was based, as I said, was based on the latest FIFA rankings. The Black Stars moved three places to 49th in world rankings and placed fifth on 
the continent. The Domitable Lions made the list of seeded teams by virtue of being defending champions. AFCON, the draw will, AFCON will be contested for the first time by 24 teams. The tournament will be held in Egypt from June 21st to July 19th. So that's that's the short story here, giving the reasons why Ghana was not placed in Port 1 as we all expected it. So this makes the draw a little bit tricky now. We could get Nigeria, we could get Egypt, we could also get big teams that we were trying to avoid. We could get Nigeria, we could get Egypt, we could get Cameroon, Morocco, Senegal could be in our group and South Africa, Uganda, Berlin, Mauritania, Madagascar, Kenya, we could meet them again and Zimbabwe, Namibia, Guinea-Bissau, Angola, Tanzania, Burundi, they are all open to us to meet again in this AFCON 2019 group stages but it's a tournament we should be ready for this you can face anyone if you want to win this tournament you have to be ready to beat the best in this tournament so a delegation as we I told you earlier on in one of my videos a delegation has been sent to um, Cairo to witness the draw it includes the Black Stars coach Kusi Apia let me read the story to you right now it says here a four member delegation has arrived in Cairo Egypt for the draw of the 32nd edition of the African Cup of Nations scheduled for April 12. Now the team is led by Dr. Kofiamwa, president of the Ghana Football Association Normalization Committee. The rest are Dr. Kofi Kodria Sapong, chairman of the Black Stars Management Committee, coach Kwesia Pia and acting general secretary Alex Asante. Now the delegation will also visit the venue where Ghana will be allotted to inspect the sel and select lodging and other facilities for the Black Stars ahead of the tournament. Now Ghana has been placed in Port 2 with DR Congo, Mali, Guinea, Algeria and previous champions Cote d'Ivoire. Now Friday's draw will reveal Ghana's first three opponents. The group and the path the Black Stars will travel at the tournament. Ghana's quest to conquer Africa has remained elusive for the past 37 years and the normalization committee is bent on putting in place adequate measures to place the Black Stars to get the Black Stars better positioned for success. Now, attending the draw is a pre-launch event of Ghana's quest to end its AFCON Championship dry period. And the GFA Normalization Committee is asking the whole nation to dust up the spiritual strength of support exhibited in the past that gingered us to victory. Dan Kwekuyewa, spokesperson of the Normalization Committee, speaking here. Speaking of that, you see, we are um, the Black Stars, so a four-member delegation is headed to they've already landed in cairo and are preparing for the draw this evening the draw is this evening 6 p.m ghana time i'll bring you the various times for the Af various african countries later on but it's 6 p.m ghana time so uh, speaking of coach kwesia pia he has spoken ahead of the draw he says he has revealed plans in terms of camping the black stars will come for three weeks before the afghan the season will end later in may for the various clubs across the world and the boys will be in after he has selected his final squad for the afghan we will they will then come for three weeks and coach kwesia pia was speaking before of the draw let's have a listen to what coach kwesia pia said yeah, um, you see, um, our team now, once um, the team is selected for the AFCON, you know, we will be in camp for about three weeks, and there are a whole lot of um, issues that we try, we will try to address and make sure before we go, the players are up to the level that we want. Most of the players, you know, I have total belief in them. Talking of pressure, there's some kind of pressure automatically especially in our field of work. Um, you have so many criticisms and then some will say positive things. So the most important thing is the negative things you learn from it, whether it will help you along the line. And then the positive things, you know, it encourages you. Um, it's always been said that no prophet is um, pampered in his own country, is it? So you do the best that you can. That's the most important thing. You know, you do the best that you can. At the end of it, you know, if you are successful, you thank God because um, that's what the nation needs. You know, and uh, if it doesn't go well, 
you also carry on with, with your life and you hope that yeah so that was coach with Yapia speaking ahead of the draw and the tournament itself afcon 2019 we are looking forward to it he says that they will do their utmost best you have to do your best in these kind of tournaments to get as far as you can um, it, it's really important that the black stars do well we are on a dry spell 37 years trophy drought from the afcon and it's it's not it doesn't sit well with a lot of people people feel this is the year for ghana and i think coach kosiapia knows that very well so to my next story and it's about black stars player asamoa chan a veteran of the game and 1965 africa cup of nations winner or say if he has voiced his opinion at the bar of the case series for player being included in the afcon 2019 squad now the case series for player has been under some scrutiny of late and what has not been included regularly in coach kwesia ps squad but i say kofi is saying that asamoa jan needs to head to afcon 2019 with the black star so the story says here i say kofi says the case for ace will aid ghana's title quest more than any other striker in the current setup. Now, Ghana's 1965 African Cup of Nations when Osei Kofi believes Black Stars captain Asamoa Jan is still the, main, the team's most dangerous striker ahead of the AFCON 2019. Now, despite his recent struggles, the form and fitness of the 33-year-old remain a major concern for Kusia PS outfit who have set their sights on ending a 37-year trophy drought at the June 21st and July 19th tournaments. Now, so far this season, Jan has restricted to a substituted appearances for his club side K Sarispor in the Turkish Super League, scoring once in 10 appearances. This is what he said. If Jan is not injured, which of our current other strikers surpasses him? Or say joint top scorer in the 1965 tournament told Go.com in an exclusive interview. Which of our current strikers can we compare to him now? Europe is different from Africa. Due to his persistent struggles with injury in recent times, Jans, Ghana's all time top scorer with 51 goals in 106 internationals, has missed the Black Stars' last 10 games. Kofi, however, didn't mention who he thinks will be the most crucial player for Ghana at the AFCON. I can't mention now, but their performance will bring out the person added the 78 year old. Now, when we get to Egypt, everything will show. Let us get there first. Nobody is a master until he is done due to be a master. The AFCON draw will be held in Cairo today, Friday, April 12th. So that's Jose Kofi, the another advocate for a Samwajan to join the Black Stars squad. Do you think Asamoa Jan should join the play to Black Stars with his recent current injuries? Let me know your thoughts about everything in the comments box and your predictions about Ghana's possible opponents based on the ports that I have revealed to you today. So that that's that's basically it. But I'll leave you with a video of five facts you need to know about the AFCON 2019 heading into the AFCON 2019 and also I'll give you the various time zones for the AFCON draw so you guys don't miss a beat so that has been it for today bringing you the preview of the AFCON 2019 draw the various seeded teams the various permutations for Ghana who Ghana could face in the draw and what to look ahead to the delegation that has been sent to represent Ghana and oversee the draw. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.